Well, hello and welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is Monday the 20th of June 2022 and we are on episode 113. As you can see, I am actually in my chair downstairs. I've got out of the workroom <laughs> for a couple of days. Hopefully I'll be back up there Wednesday doing a couple of jobs. I've got that curl on my fringe and that dark annoys me. It doesn't matter if I have long hair or short hair, I'm that goes wee. <laughs> um, so I thought I would actually record this week's down here because I've got most of my stuff actually down here and it saves me taking it upstairs. This morning, I got up and Glenn is off today and tomorrow and I drove him over to where he normally goes to his fishing and then I said to him, so on the way back, I said, I'll just do the little weekly shop, you know, let's just top up really milk and bread and, you know, basics and stuff like that. And my gosh, it's like a war out there. I really can't believe it. There was, oh, just people. I don't know why on earth, what's going on? I really don't know what's going on. Um, let's put that there. Little Elmo's walking around at the moment. So hopefully he might come up and say hello in a bit <laughs> uh, before he goes to in the afternoon sleep. And uh, he, and um, so I didn't get back here till quarter to one. So then I quickly did uh, mine and his lunch. And <laughs> and then uh, we, uh, then I thought well, what I'll do is I'll, do some do my recording down here this week and then uh, I've got to run the hoover around and then I'm going to get dot out my wheel oh I've got so much excitement over my wheel it, oh I just oh that reminds me oh it's fine it's all on my trolley everything I have here on by the side of me <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah so Let's have a look. We have actually um, got, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Here in the UK, Friday was horrendous with heat. Absolutely horrendous. My poor Rebecca, oh, she was at work and I kept messaging her saying, Plen, make sure you drink plenty. She's got you too, mum. <laughs> Bless her, heart. I'm in here, do you know what I mean? That's easy for me, isn't it? But oh, when you're at work, I know, you know, where I used to work, we didn't even have air con. And, wow, I know I said to Glenn, gosh, if I was at work today, it would have been horrendous. But anyway, and then was it Saturday night? We had the most horrendous thunderstorm. Oh my gosh. It woke Glenn up and he sleeps with earplugs. And the lightning was phenomenal in a way. I don't like thunder and lightning and I know my Rebecca don't. So as soon as I got up Saturday morning, I text her, oh, you were right last night. Oh, mom, she said... <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, pair we are. Anyway, um we um come on Elmi. Elmi, good boy. No, no, leave that. And then um I actually had to get up because as soon as I wake up I think Lou <laughs> I had to go, and you could see this lightning flashing from, cause you know, from the front, from the back, and oh my gosh, it was oh all over the place. This lightning was actually thunder. Oh my gosh, it sounded like it was going to be, it was hitting something. It was that thuddy. Oh dear me, but it cleared the air. <laughs> it's still warm, mind, but it's not as warm as it was. We do have a cool breeze now. Thank goodness. That's all I'm going to say. Thank goodness. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's about it really and obviously I would love to say oh yes I haven't actually done my other introductions have I <laughs> any of you you new, new subscribers you do get used to this honestly if you message below to the old subscribers <laughs> they will say this 100% <laughs> this is old ditzy Vina. <laughs> so anywhere you can find me will be down in the description box <laughs> And anything that I mention is also down in the description box. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear me. And a big, 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 big welcome to everybody. As I said, I have got some new subscribers. And I can't, I think it was Sue, bless her. Um, hi Sue. Um, messaged and said that I've actually reached over 2,000 subscribers. And wow. <laughs> Wow, was that's all I can say. I still haven't got my watch hours up because you have to get your watch hours up. Um, but, um, you know, I try and do as much as I can with, with you know, obviously with, with the way things are with me and, and with what I am up, up, up doing up in the workroom. There's only so much you can do, isn't there? But oh, it doesn't bother me. I love doing this anyway. Anyway, so, as you all know, on Wednesday last week, I took part in the second... 
um because i obviously i did the first as well the second uh cambridge yarn festival virtual um show on in on their instagram feed oh my gosh yes it was uh, not as nerve-wracking but it's the logging on and the logging off <laughs> confused with I'm there pushing all these buttons on the screen and <laughs> uh, but obviously when it comes to the the slot in between that when it comes to talk and as you know I have no problem with that at all but anyway what I would like to say is thank you thank you so much to everybody that supported supported us and the messages that were coming up on the screen honestly oh I just love it and I recognized you all oh it's absolutely brilliant and thank you everybody that did support the shop as well it's all been posted off. Um, it was all po the big lot was posted off on the Thursday, and then the little bits, the ones that came in over on Saturday afternoon, because obviously our post offices don't open on a Saturday afternoon here in the UK. <laughs> well, they don't here in our little town anyway. Uh, so the couple of three of them went off this morning. <laughs> but I will say thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Really, really do appreciate it. Okay, then, right then. So let's hop into the craft, which is what you're here for, shall we? So today we have, oh, hang on, I'm going to do that bit in a moment. So we have some cross stitch. I have an, an FO, not a fully finish. Actually, I have two FOs. Uh, with the crochet, I'm going to show you the uh, progress of my um, flower power cardigan. Also, I have a free pattern to show you. Oh, my, you've got to get this. You have got to get this. And the spinning. I'm going to leave the spinning till last. And then I have a little personal message at the end for one of the viewers. Okay, right then. So, first of all, I'm going to say, we are now going to have, which we haven't had for a while, a little workroom craft. Newsflash! One of these days, I am going to get a pair of those big glasses. I keep saying that every time, don't I? Mind you, my glasses are big enough they are at the moment, aren't they? Let's put this pen down. Let's put my lid on. Right, as we all know, over the last two years i won't say why but over the last two years uh fiber east which is our lovely um local yarn festival in bedford is running a school uh was announced that it wasn't going ahead anymore well well most of you probably already know but if you don't know <laughs> go over to instagram or on to uh google and it's called the new oh hang on no that's the new name <laughs> i'd be a fantastic news reader wouldn't i <laughs> it's called the summer wool festival it's on saturday and sunday the 30th and 31st of july at reedbourne school which is exactly the same place as where we had it at fiber east the tickets in advance are £8, on the door a £10. If you want to go for a weekend ticket, that's only £12. What a saving is all I can say. And under 16s are free. I'm going to put up their logo here. If I could get there, I would go. I really would. I loved Fibre East. I have looked at the traders list. Wow, they have got some good traders there, I tell you. Oh, they've got the lovely Hayley. I love Hayley. I've met her. I was lucky enough to meet Hayley from Ducky Darlings um, up at, in the Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Oh, my gosh. Bird Street Yarns. I'd love to buy a Bird Street Yarn. I really would. But unfortunately, my little old legs can't drive me there. Otherwise, I did look. I said, look, actually, Google to see about getting a train. I reckon it took eight hours. I think, I don't know if I booked the right country. <laughs> Because I was thinking, surely I could get to France for that. <laughs> so, I don't know where I was going there. We will see. Um, but anyway, so any of you that do go, please let me know what it was like. Because as I say, oh, I'd love to go to that. I really, really would love to go. But hey who, hey who, I know that with a, a two-hour drive there, I could drive there, no problem. But then I couldn't walk around and drive back. You know what I mean? That would be too dangerous. And... I would not want to risk that one <laughs> at all. But yeah, so as I say, if you do go, it's the 30th and 31st of July. Please let me know. And if you've got any pictures in like for next month, at the end of next month, then, you know, send them over to us and we can put the, a little um, slide show of all you at the show. It'd be absolutely fantastic, I think, because I think we're all show ready now. We need a show. <laughs> and I think as well with them, um, Especially with me, the next show that I actually do get to 
is because I'm going to go with a new pair of eyes for a new craft because I've got my spinning wheel and I've never actually been for fibre. Um, so, yeah. Oh, anyway, I'm not talking about it because I'll only get all... Mm. Mind you, I don't really get... Mm. <laughs> Even if I try. I have my down days, but you know what I mean? They're not... Mm. <laughs> Anyway, right then, that's enough of that. But I thought I'd let anybody, everybody know, you know, it isn't the fi isn't actually Fiber East isn't the name of it, but it's at the same place. And it's called the Summer Wool Festival. Yep, even at the same school and everything. So, wow. But just go over and onto Google and Google them and look at their traders list. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, then, right then. So let's go into the craft, shall we? So, as you all know, I am taking part in the Laurie Holt um, Granny Along. Yeah, it is a Granny Along, isn't it? Yeah, because she's using three different crafts. She's using cross-stitch, crochet and um, patchwork, isn't she? And quilting. Okay, so as you know, let's, oh, I downloaded the free pattern, which you have to go to. For this one, you go to... Uh, fat Court Shop and go into free patterns in the, the little... Go in the little three bars, go look, click on that, go into free patterns, and it's in that section there. And I managed to finish it. I am so chuffed with this. This piece of Ada was gifted to me by my lovely friend Colleen. Hi, Colleen, in Texas. And I just went into stash for my um, DMCs. And then I thought, what am I going to do with it after that? <laughs> I know there's some of you that have um, that have, have, have downloaded it and started it that are doing it in um, framing it and stuff. And I thought, no, I did think of that originally. And then I thought, right, no, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something different. Because as you know, at the moment, in my dresser there, I have a, a little display that I do. Because I have my make, what I call my yarn bowl, but it's something I bought, bought in a charity shop. And in there at the moment is a strawberry and, and the jubilee cushion so what i thought i'm going to do is i'm going to make this into a cushion so i'll back it just with a piece of calico and then stuff it and then but i'll stuff it the back like um kathy for kathy kathy from hands on designs i never get her last name right anyway <laughs> i'll uh um hang on a minute i see it I'm a bit dark let me see if this makes any difference mm. is that a bit too much that's better yeah that's better right then and uh, so yeah so i'm going to do the back like that and then stuff it and just put a little piece of calico on the top and then i have done this little square in the cotton yarns dk and i've managed to do it where it fits i'll show you on the front the same and then i'll stitch this onto the back like so but onto the back of the calico i'll stitch it around the outside with a little invisible stitch and make it into a little cushion, I thought, for my yarn bowl. And something like that could be up all the time. So that is what I'm going to plan on making it into. So I'm hoping to get it done for next week, but we will see how that goes. <laughs> also, if you remember in Vlogmas yeah, last year, I did the Laurie Holt cross stitch in the evenings, didn't I? Every other evening, I did an evening of cross stitch and an evening of knitting, I think it was, and every other to get two big projects finished. And it's um, Louis Holt's um, Kaleidoscope out of a Kaleidoscope book, and I haven't brought it down. It's upstairs. In the book, there is the cross stitch pattern and some patchwork um, patterns. And this is it finished, because you've all seen this. But as you know, I have been looking out for a square frame which is not very easy to find as i have found out so anyway i kept being patient and being patient and i thought there's got to be one that pops up somewhere in a charity shop surely because you all know i love my charity shops wow look at this i got this saturday morning i went up to the post office and i thought oh do you know what i just need some fresh air and i'll go and pop down the big charity shop that i ain't been to for a while and they had four of these, two in black and two in with silver. Now, I am not a named uh, brand person at all. <laughs> you probably notice. <laughs> I am, um, no, I don't do names and things like that, you know, and I definitely don't do fashion. I wear what's comfortable. But this, I've never heard of these, so some of you might have done and some of you might have not, but this 
is a is the square frame and obviously i'll take this section out and this and um i don't think i'll put the glass in i think i'll take that out as well now as you see i got it for is that gonna three pound fifty on the back here i can't believe it it was 30 pound who pays 30 pound for a picture frame i can't get my head around that and there's four of them <laughs> Anyway, my cross stitch fits in it, but I'm thinking what I might do is get a sponge. I've got an old sponge upstairs, actually, and I've got some of my um, paints, my acrylic paints that I keep for my cross stitch, and I might just distress it a bit. So I think the black is a bit too stark for it. The grey was just lost, just didn't do anything at all. But see if I can antique it down a bit. That's what I'm thinking of doing anyway. But I got one, £3.50. Not thirty pound. <laughs> I can't get my head around that at all. I really, really can't get my head around that. Okay then, right. So that's the cross stitch. So fingers crossed. I might actually have them two finished by next week. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Because as I say, tomorrow I am actually trying. I've got to go and pick Glenn up. But so I don't do a lot when I'm doing that bit of driving. And then um, Wednesday. No, yeah, Wednesday I'm planning on popping up in my room because I've got a couple of bits of sewing. One piece um, of, of fabric that I've been waiting for has arrived today and the other piece, fingers crossed, should arrive tomorrow. So I've got some sewing to do. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get that done. Thursday, I don't want to jinx anything. But I am going to see my daughter, right? Last time, bless her heart, she had to work. This time, I spoke to her yesterday, at the moment, fingers crossed, <laughs> everything looks okay. So, and I said to her, I said, what I'll do is I'll actually get the bus up. And she'll get the bus, and then we'll meet at the um, the, the actual uh, bus station. We'll do it that way, I think. And, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> oh, let's hope, eh? Thursday goes okay. And so, and then obviously Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I might be able to get those done. I might do. We will see. We will see. Anyway, let's go into the crochet. I am enjoying this flower power cardigan so much. Let me get the actual, because I've got my pattern in, in so many different places. Because <laughs> I'm doing a bit and it's all in. Oh, here it is. So this is the flower power cardigan. The designer, I've just written her down, is Sam Sabido Crochets. Now, if you go on Sam Sabido Crochets on Etsy, Etsy no, yes, yeah, no, on <laughs> Instagram, and then obviously she's got, like I have, she's got a link, you know, that takes you all to your different things that you do. And um, and then on her Etsy shop, she is Adventures in Crafting. So it is Sam Sabido. It's S. A B I D O, okay, and oh, I'm loving it. I'm doing it all in the good old home bargain yarn because <laughs> you know I love my home bargain yarn, and I know I have some fans of that too. Oh, I'm waiting for my friend Sarah because she's crocheting something. Oh, it's amazing in this home bargain yarn as well. So you've got to send pictures of that when it's finished <laughs> so we can all see it. And um, yeah, wow. I just can't put this down. I really can't. I'm like spinning in the afternoon. That's my excitement. And, and then just crocheting this in the evening. Now I have done all of those. I have done all of the white ones. They're all in there. I did do, for some stupid reason, I miscounted and did two of these extra. One lovely, lovely person left a comment on last week's video and what a great idea. Thank you so much. Say, and why don't I use the extra two as pockets? So I'm on the front. I just think that's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I think I really am going to do that because I always have to have tissues, as you probably know, <laughs> and a pocket is always handy. And also in here, um, so that's all the white ones and all the pink ones. And then in my actual crochet bag in here, where are they? They're in here somewhere. I have done, here they are, <laughs> all of this, got to this part of the minty greeny turquoisey colour. <laughs> if you've ever heard of a minty greeny turquoisey colour. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then what I'll do is like on Thursday on the bus, I'll just take all these with me and just put all the greens up there and on the, all the greens on on the way back. That's what I thought I'd do. And then last night, because it's one, <laughs> it's nearly, nearly there. And then last night I started button the outsides of the peaches to make the petals and what I'm doing is I'm keeping all the centers in my little tins and then as I say then I'll just do all the greens and then that's then I've got to do the me lilac ones and then that's all the solid the big um full cross um hexagons finished then now you have to do I was looking actually the other day is it on here or is it on my other piece I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's on the other, other piece. You've got to do so many three-quarter hexagons, half hexagons, triangles, which are all in the green. So you have to do, um, you know, but these are the big ones. So, and I'm nearly there. I'm nearly, nearly there. And I'm just so excited. I can't put it down. I really can't put it down. I'm just going to spin you around so you can see something. Look at him. Hello, Elmy. You can say hello to everybody. Oh, hard life, isn't it, mate? <laughs> oh, what it's like to be a cat in a good eye, mate. Eh? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, he's just laying there, chilling out. Bless his heart. Right, so yeah, I have really, really plodding along with that. This one in this bag, which is the sew along, which is not a sew along at all, is it? It's a crochet along. <laughs> and this is the Laurie Holt one again. Now, this pattern, her free pattern for the crochet granny square, you have to go over to oh, it's the ones that designs their fabrics. Oh no, you silly woman. My mind's gone completely blank. I'll put it on the screen. I can't believe that. I know you're all going to be shouting at me. Oh dear. But anyway, you go to their website and um, you download it for free. Oh gosh. It will come to me. If not, I will definitely put it on the screen for you. And where are they? So I have done four. I say I don't know what I'm going to be doing with these. And if you notice, they're all being edged with the walnutty colour. I'm using the Stylecraft, of course. <laughs> the Stylecraft 100% um, cotton, which is called, it's called something, isn't it? Is it Classic? Yes, it is. Gosh, I'm a bit of a swap. <laughs> it's the DK Classic Stylecraft. Beautiful yarn, I must admit. Well, cotton, it really is. I got some um, extra colours and I got them, I said last week from Wool Warehouse, they don't have a lot of selection because they have actually discontinued a lot of the colours. Um, so, but what Wool Warehouse do have, they have got on offer at the moment and it was just over pound, some pound 40 something a ball, I think it was. But isn't it marvellous? I showed this one last week, how that walnutty colour has toned that one really down. So I love that one and I love that one. And I really love that one. <laughs> but I am more of a muted colour person. But I'm plodding along with these. So I don't know what I'm doing. Riley Blake. There you go. See, I told you it'd come to me in the end, didn't I? Yeah, I'll get there. I'll get there. So, so yeah, go on to Riley Blake. Then I was there on Saturday afternoon. And I was, I looked at my trolley. And I noticed that I hadn't tried my, and oh gosh, I've done it again. One of these wall winder things. Yeah. If you look on episode, is it 110? Might be. I showed where I got this from. This actually was handmade on one of those lay, lay laves that you, they work with the foot. Yeah. And, and I'll give all the info where I got it from and everything. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. Anyway, and I used it for the first time. And look, I got a little ball of wool. <laughs> I was so excited. And it is a centre paw as well. Look at that. I'm just so chuffed with it. I really am. I absolutely love it. And it fits. So this is a 50 gram ball. Now, as you see, I've used some. And it sits there in the little 50 gram cake, um, yeah, um, 
cake yarn cozy that I the cozies that I make and it sits in there just fine look so the outside don't come undone you have to excuse there because someone a little person over there that's asleep wanted to play with mummy this morning look and I told him he got a bit rough it's not even a year old gosh <laughs> that was his dad his dad was winding him up that was the problem anyway yeah so I uh, I really did enjoy using my little my, my little hand wool winder thing absolutely brilliant right then now we're going to go over to the spinning as i say i am absolutely loving my spinning and oh, oh my gosh my wheel i love her so much there isn't hardly a day go by where i ain't spinning something or doing something on her this morning um because glenn said to me he said gosh mate you see what you're doing because you know we don't have the telly on or anything like that in the morning really in the afternoon, you know, when I've finished all the jobs and stuff, I'll pop on and watch some podcasts and things like that. But, <laughs> and I said, well, I said, you know that I'm making this. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. No, rewind, rewind. The free pattern for crochet. Oh my gosh, I, don't, I can't believe I've nearly forgot this. Right. If you, yet again, if you're on Instagram, go to Sam Sabido Crochets and it is crochets, right? Go into her link, because on her latest post that she did, you, you'll know it when you see it in a minute. I'll put it up here. I screenshot the picture, and here it is. This pattern, which is called Fun Times Vest uh, Crochet Pattern, it's done in a DK. Go over to Hobie, H-O-B-B-I-E, if you don't have Instagram, if you do have Instagram, just go into the link and carry on and carry on. And it's there. It's a free pattern. I know. A free pattern. What an amazing crochet vest, eh? I just think it's beautiful. Oh, definitely. Once I've finished my flowered cardigan, that is going to be my next thing on the hook. And I, I, oh, oh, wonder what it got like in cotton. Because I could... Make it in those, ah, in that cotton yarn I've already got. Oh, I've got thinking now. I might, I'll have to go and print it off in a minute. <laughs> I think that would look right in cotton, wouldn't it? Yeah, I might have to do that because I've already got the yarn. And it's DK. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so free vest pattern it's called the fun times vest it's over on the hobie website if you don't have instagram okay if you do have instagram just go, um, search sam sabido crochets and then that's her last post you and that is literally it i've just screenshotted what is that post and um and then um if you go into her link into the link tree it's there log push onto it and there is that pattern you can download it it's Three, I know. Three. Wow. Anyway, that's the excitement of that. <laughs> okay, where are we? Spinning. Now we're going to the spinning. So as I was saying, um, it's been, you know, it's been had a lot of uh we I've had my wheel out in the evenings. I just sit here and I think I'll get my wheel out. <laughs> I just love her, absolutely love her. And at the beginning of this year and the end of the last year, I had a lot of um, fibre that was um, gifted to me by some lovely viewers um, here on, on YouTube. And I thought I really want to do something special with these fibres because they're a bit of, you know, there, were, there was two or three of them that, that gifted some beautiful fibres. Absolutely beautiful. There was three of them, actually. So, and then I thought, right... I brought this a couple of weeks ago, yet again from Sam, and this is the crocheted vest. Now, I think these are absolutely brilliant, in, especially in the autumn winter with a long sleeved um, t shirt on, and you know, they just keep you nice and cozy warm, don't they? And obviously, her stuff is done in DK. So, what I thought when I brought this, and I thought, right, I am going to see if I can spin a DK weight yarn. 
And as I said last week, I knew my Teresa would come to the rescue because my Teresa will always do bless her up. And um, I, um, she has given me some, um, you know, advice on what to do about getting the DK weight. But as I say, I have been crocheting for over 50 years. Actually, I've been crocheting all my life. And it's, it's so much more forgiving than knitting. I do believe it. I really, really do. So even if I am a little under, I can just change my hook size. I know you can do it with, with knitting as well, but I do honestly believe that crochet is a bit more forgiving than knitting. And also as well, if there is a mistake, it's so much easier to unpick. It really, really is than the knitting. You know, the knitting you want to try and get as a knitter you know you want to try and get every row right so you don't have to unpick all them stitches where let's face it you've got one stitch on that hook <laughs> and boom it just goes it's, it's easier isn't it it's easier anyway so i have been spinning away <laughs> and i've got my lazy kate and i think last year well last week i called it lazy susan i think they're the things you have in the kitchen isn't they you get used to me so this is my lazy cage i've got another my other empty bobbin on my wheel waiting and it's completely empty and i'll show you what i'm going to do with that so these two colors now are singles and i finished this one yesterday and this one and these are going to be have it be a two ply that goes with what i'm going to show you in a moment and then it's like both three o'clock this morning like you know what you're like you're sound asleep and all of a sudden you go wow I want, oh my dear what you know what on earth's going on i'm i've already spun those two and then i've got to spin um the one that's going to go with them and then how am i going to apply it because i've got three bobbins <laughs> and i hadn't thought of that so i went on to wigan wall i do like them as a company i have bought quite a bit off of those, them and um, this morning I did order uh, two more. I treated myself to two more bobbins. So then I have got one for to start my contrast yarn and then one so I can start plying up these. Because obviously once one, once one is plied, then I just skein it up, wash it, and then I just rotate everything like that. Anyway, as I've said, these two are going are a, 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 the single plies. And these are going to um, be plied with another fibre. Now, I hope I can do all this because some of these, I don't know what the fibres are. They, they didn't have any um, paperwork or anything with them. But, you know, I mean, this is going to be my first thing I've ever spun to garment. Even if I don't wear it, which I'm hoping I do, you know, even I, but I was going to, you know, it's just the, the process of the fun of, of doing it. And, and, you know, I'm so enjoying it. I really am. So what I'm going to be applying with these, and I have got in my cupboard, because the bottom part of my dresser is my fibres and my spinning books and stuff. And I have got another, like, um, multicoloured, like these. And then I'm hoping that will be enough. And this here, I had put away, and it, sorry about the crinkling, was gifted to me. Now, when was it, Teresa? Because I was trying to think and saying to Glenn about it yesterday, because he got it, or well, the day before, he got it down for me. And um, I can't remember if it was last year you brought this down or the year before. And I put it up, where some, up somewhere safe in my room, as you do. And then I thought, this is going to go absolutely superb. And it's all prepared. You see, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So when this is all um, spun up, this it's actually going to be plied with those. So I didn't want to like, so I didn't want it to look like a, a candy cane or nothing like that. I wanted something... I just think this is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And then also, I should have brought them over in the bag, um, in the cupboard. I have four bags that were, were also gifted um, of a they're creamy white with flecks. So I'm gonna um, spin all those up, and then they will be. So the plan is that the rib. 
and all round there and round there and there and then two rows of the granny will be in the colour and then I'll do one row with the cream because the cream has got a speck of colour in it. So that's going to be the plan. So I fingers crossed everybody that this does work but I am enjoying the process and this is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to start this this afternoon. I'm going to get this all out and then get it on the wheel. Oh, and then as I say, I've ordered my two spare, um, let's pop that there out the way, um, my two spare bobbins. So once that, that is on a bobbin and then I can ply two of these together and then um, I can, I'll have my spares as well, which I can carry on carry on doing because obviously I'll have my spare bobbin full of that and then one of them and I've got nothing to apply it on <laughs> luckily I did think of that before <laughs> otherwise I'd have been a bit upset I think <laughs> but no I'm really really looking forward to um carrying on with it and I think the fun as well obviously is going to be the crochet of course it will um but I tell you what I've never actually experienced anything like this <laughs> I must admit when I am um, got my wheel and that and, and you know and Teresa because Teresa's a brilliant spinner and you know and she was saying you know about that it is the process of the, the of the spinning I just switch off I love it absolutely love it if I'm having a bad day if you if even if you've got a spinning wheel or a spindle just do that switch everything off on the on the, in the world and just yeah it just chills you so much <laughs> it really does <laughs> but um yeah anyway right i've gone over my half an hour <laughs> and um as i've shown you everything for this week so far uh so yeah so what i'm going to do is the photographs at the front if you see the ones with the little chap <laughs> obviously he thought he was going to be a big boy and go fishing with dad but no <laughs> he wouldn't let him take those fishing gear <laughs> He really thought he was going to go with him this morning. He really did, bless his heart. Also as well, when Glenn was at work over the weekend, down where we work, if you notice, there is a photograph of the of David, the David Attenborough ship. Um, now that often comes into our port here. And what it does is it goes over to the, an, the, Antar the cold part of the world, Atlantic, Antarctic, Antarctic, isn't it? goes over there and do research so it is actual the david attenborough research um boat ship um but isn't it great isn't it and so he got some photographs to send and he sent them over to me so we, i could show you all them but yeah because let's face it we all love our david attenborough there's not not a lot he don't know about wildlife but um he's not actually on it but it is actually the david attenborough ship so it is the you know research so yeah that's lovely to actually have that here it really is okay then I am going to love you and leave you all now <laughs> and let you get on with your day <laughs> and stop me blabbering. <laughs> so I am going to pack this away while I'm, um, after I've done my editing, I have got to, as I say, run the hoover around and then I'm going to chill <laughs> for the rest of the day. I'm going to get my wheel out and try and have a go at these uh, fleece. It's brilliant. That's all been prepared and everything. It's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so I'm so looking forward to it. I could even put that as the main... Oh, anyway, I'll work it out. I'll work it out. And yeah, so you never know. I'm hoping to have a bobbin of that done for next week so you can actually see it. And if I'm um, depending on time, I could actually have one plied, but I'm not holding my breath on that. <laughs> anyway, right, I am going to go now. So always, as always, please... Take care, stay safe, and happy crafting. I'll see you on Monday. Take care, bye. Just quickly remembered something to pop on at the end. This is a personal message. Please can the Knitting Bandit have a look at episode 111. I actually replied to your previous, previous message and I've actually sent you a new one. I sent it last week and I don't think you've actually read it yet. So please can the Knitting Bandit um, read uh, that message and get in contact with me, please. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.